Dragon of Ice Spire Peak. Butterskull Ranch Butterskull Ranch is balanced for characters of 3rd level, but characters of 2nd level can survive this quest if they avoid combat and focus on rescuing Alphonse Calazorn, the ranch owner. Characters of 4th level or higher should be able to save Big Al and his ranch without hardship. Location Overview Alphonse Calazorn used to be the sheriff of Tribor, a town to the east, where he was known as Big Al Calazorn. He retired a decade ago, but retirement didn't sit well with him. Looking for a new challenge, he claimed a plot of fertile land, five miles east of Conaberry, and turned it into a cattle and horse ranch. Later he added a pig farm, chicken coops, vegetable gardens, cornfields, and an apple orchard. Most of his money comes from the sale of butter skulls, lumps of butter cleverly molded into the shapes of humanoid skulls. He sells his butter skulls primarily in towns to the east, although a few make their way to Barthen's provisions in Fandolin. Big Al's butter is made from the milk of Petunia, his prized cow. When the white dragon Cryovane drove the orcs out of Ice Spire Hold, they descended into the lowlands. A ten day ago, a small band of them attacked the ranch, freeing the pigs before setting fire to the barn and the smithy. A few other animals, including a dozen horses and Petunia the cow, escaped during the blaze. Big Al and five of his ranch hands were not so lucky. In their attempts to fend off the orcs, Big Al was captured and the ranch hands were killed. The only surviving hand escaped on horseback, fled to Fandolin, and delivered news of the attack. Quest Goals To complete the Butterskull Ranch quest, adventurers must rescue Alphonse Calazorn and either convince him to return to Fandolin or rid his ranch of orcs. Alphonse also wants help finding his prize cow, promising a splendid reward in exchange. Travel to the ranch. The fastest and safest way to Butterskull Ranch from Fandolin is to follow the Tribal Trail northeast. The trek is 60 miles long and characters can walk about 24 miles in a day. Thus they can expect to take two long rests in the course of the journey. Encounters on the way. The characters have the following encounters as they travel to the ranch. Horses in Conaberry. The abandoned town of Conaberry is eerily silent, except for the whistling of the wind as it blows through the settlement's burned and crumbled down structures. As the characters make their way through or around the ruins, they spot three unsaddled riding horses grazing near an old well. Anyone who succeeds on a DC-10 Wisdom Perception check sees that the horses are branded with the letters B-A-K for Big Al Calazorn. A character who succeeds on a DC-15 Wisdom Animal Handling check can approach a horse without startling it and can even ride it. Petunia the Cow Between Conaberry and the ranch, the character spot Petunia the Cow in a field a few hundred feet off the Tribor Trail. Petunia wears a cowbell around her neck. Characters who approach her spot a brand on her hindquarters, the letters B-A-K. Petunia has a calm, unflappable demeanor. If treated well, she follows her new benefactors everywhere. Arrival The following locations are key to the map of Butterskull Ranch. When the adventurers come within sight of the ranch, read the following out loud. Butter Skull Ranch occupies a large plot of land on the north side of the Tribor Trail, nestled between two hills. Beyond a ramshackle wooden fence stand cornfields, an apple orchard, gardens, and pasture land. A path breaks off from the trail to lead to a two-story farmhouse next to a pond. West of the farmhouse are the charred remains of a barn and a smithy that have been burned to the ground. Pigs harmlessly wander the fields, gardens, and orchard. Between the farmhouse and the gutted barn lies the scattered corpses of two orcs and five human ranch hands swarming with flies. The bodies carry nothing of value. Exploring the farmhouse. The farmhouse is a two-story log building with a pitch-shingled roof 
and a stone chimney. Its wooden doors are set with iron handles and hinges. Its windows are fitted with the wooden shutters that can be bolted shut from inside. All the shutters are open when the characters arrive. Raunchous orcs dwell in the farmhouse, consuming Big Owl's ale and food stores. There are three times as many orcs as there are characters in the party, not including sidekicks. Place the orcs in area B1 through to B9 as you see fit. The orcs are not expecting trouble, but they fight to the death. Area B1. The kitchen. The front door of the house leads into this area, which holds a large butter churn, work tables, shelves of foodstuffs and ale, and hanging pots and pans. Atop a small table is a skull-shaped wooden butter mould. Area B2. The empty foyer. A creaky wooden staircase ascends from here to area B5. Area B3. Dining room. This room contains two wooden trestle tables flanked by benches. Cattle skulls on the walls add to the decor. Area B4. Downstairs closet. This closet contains shelving holding dinnerware. Area B5. Common room. Padded chairs and game tables are arranged about this room. Scattered on the floor are three dragon ante playing cards and wooden dragon chess pieces. Area B6. Big Al's bedroom. A large bed and a bulky cedar wardrobe dominate this room, which also has framed paintings of landscapes hanging on the wall. Treasure. Any character who searches the wardrobe and succeeds on a DC-15 wisdom perception check finds a secret compartment at the bottom. Stuffed inside is a suit of mithril chain armor. If the characters acquire and identify this magic item, give them the mithril chain mail card, or they can reference it in the magic items listing. Area B7, Ranch Hands Bedrooms. Each of these rooms contain two beds and two footlockers. Each footlocker contains neatly folded clothing and worthless personal effects. Area B8, Big Al's office. Big Al's desk is buried under stacks of ledgers and papers chronicling 10 years worth of business transactions. Treasure. Characters who search the messy office find a small sack buried under the paperwork. It contains earnings and wages, a total of 65 gold pieces 145 silver pieces, and 220 copper pieces. Area B9. Upstairs closet. This closet contains a mop, a broom, and a bucket. Area B10. Cold storage cellar. Wooden doors set against the north side of the farmhouse cover stone stairs leading down to the cellar. When the characters explore the cellar, describe the following. The cellar has a dirt floor, walls of mortared stone, an eight-foot-high plank ceiling braced by wooden pillars. Tied to a chair is a large figure with a burlap sack pulled over his head. Shelves along the walls are lined with skulls made of butter and protected by a thin coating of wax. The bound figure is Alphonse Calazorn, a human veteran. It takes one minute for characters to free Big Al from his rope bonds. Having been beaten by the orcs, he has nine hit points remaining and appreciates any healing the characters can provide. He is also without weapons and armor, and his armor class is 11. Once liberated, Big Al can be convinced to abandon his ranch by any character who succeeds on a DC-10 Charisma Intimidation or Persuasion check. He would rather stay, borrow a weapon, and kill any orcs that remain. Big Al can't turn a profit without his prize cow. He offers his suit of mithril chainmail, hidden in area B6, as a reward for her safe return. If the characters didn't bring Petunia with them, they can scour the countryside for her. At the end of each hour spent searching, roll a D6. On a roll of 6, the party finds Petunia. If one or more characters search on horseback, they find Petunia on a roll of 5 or 6.